Hey YouTube, Big Shinger here. Sorry about my voice. I'm still sick, but I'm I'm gonna do the answer the questions finally. And so let's get this started. Now, first question comes from 2010 Daniel Ryan, who asks, "Who do you want? Oh, wait, um, do you like any of the Saw films? If so, what is your favorite one and your least favorite one, and why?" Um, my favorite's obviously the first one, like for most people probably, because it's the most scary, it's the most intense, it has the most good acting in it. And that's why it's my favorite. My least favorite one, either seven or four. Four, it's directed by Daryl Lynn Bowsman. End of story. And seven, because it was, the ending was so terrible. It was such a disgrace to end how the first one was so amazing. And to end it was such a shitty way. So either one of those, could it could be tied to the worst one. Um. Now, what is your favorite kind of music? Rock and roll, definitely. And who do you watch the most on YouTube? Um... For YouTube critic wise, probably Tom Chalbash and Chris Tuckman, mostly Chris Tuckman probably. And uh, regular cha regular channels, I love watching Shane Dawson TV. I love watching Smosh, um, Ray William Johnson, a bunch of other people. And next question comes from Robster Reviews, who asks, "What's your most anticipated movie for the rest of 2012 and 2013?" Um, for 2012, if you saw the video, it's Looper. That's my most anticipated film for the rest of the year. And for 2013, I can't really think of any right now. There's not gonna be as it's not gonna be as much good movies as there was in 2012. I bet. There's um Man of Steel, which looks pretty good, and it's got Oz the Great and Powerful, which looks really good, and it's got Star Trek Two, which I'm really looking forward to. That's all I can think of right now. And what's better, Super Bad or 21 Jump Street? Super Bad. And what's the most disappointing movie of the summer? The Born Legacy, by far. Next question comes from. Bunchy TV who asks, asks, what's your favorite band? The Beatles. I love the Beatles. And next question comes from Brian Huff Jr. is going to be most of the questions. Who asks, if Daniel Bryan came out to the song, whatever, by Our, Our Lady Peace, what would your reaction be? Just like The Miz. Really? 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 Alright, now let's go down to the rest of the questions. I bet this is frozen. Now, the next question comes from Brian F. Jr. again, who asks, If Kane and Daniel Bryan won the 2013 Royal Rumble as a tie, what would your reaction be? To me, this would be funny as hell, saying I'm I'm the winner of the Royal Rumble. That would be actually really funny, but I don't, I don't think that whole Kane and Daniel Bryan thing should last that long, because I bet it'll, it'll, I'll get sick of it. If they stop it for a couple months and they do that for the Royal Rumble, I think it'll be really good. But if they keep, but if they keep on doing that whole thing until the Royal Rumble, I'm going to be pissed. Um... What would you um I besides that I think it'd be really funny and like you told me this on Facebook then it'd be a triple threat with him against C with those two against CM Punk for the WWE champion still a WWE champ CM Punk he better be WWE champ to WrestleMania or I'm gonna be pissed. Um he also asked why do you hate remakes the Halloween one was good no it wasn't the Halloween one sucked. Um. Most remakes are just awful because I how the first one like was so much so good, so good classics and how like inspired me to to like make horror movies, watch horror movies, and make me love horror movies. It just ruins it for me. And uh, Shark Attack Three, Megal Megaldon, look at look at the trailer and, and give your reaction. Who knows? Maybe I will. And if I don't, I'll tell you what my reaction was on Facebook. Um, do you have any WWE DVDs? Yes, I have a lot of WWE DVDs. I have a lot of them. And maybe I'll make a video of that for people who watch wrestling and who subscribe to me. Um, he also asked, did you know they were coming out with Home Alone 5? Really? First Christmas Story 2, now Home Alone 5. You want to butcher and rape my childhood. Really, Hollywood? Just fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Stop raping my childhood. You had, you had Spy Kids 4. Raped my childhood. You think I'm making Toy Story 4? That's going to rape my childhood. Now, and then you made Christmas Story 2. Just the trailer raped my childhood. Now I'm making Home Alone 5. Why are you raping my childhood? Why are you trying to ruin my happiness when I was younger? What's your worst best movie? I can't really understand that. Maybe you can ask me on Facebook or something. Because I don't know. Sorry, I can't answer that, but... Alright, he also asks, if Scream gets a remake, who would you want to be in it? I think that they should have, like, a lot of those old Scream cast members be in it as another role. Maybe one of them being the killer or something. That'd be so fucking funny. 
And uh, but really, if you're gonna, if they're gonna come out with a screen screen remake instead in like in a couple of years instead of screen five, I'm gonna be pissed. I want screen five. All right, now this one comes from Oscar De La Rosa who asks, top three worst movies of 2012 so far. There's okay. There's um, the apparition. I think it was called. I can't remember because I'm trying to erase that movie from my head. And um, Ghost Rider 2 was so bad. And The Devil Inside was really bad. I can think of those three right now, but I bet I'm forgetting some. Oh, yeah, Red Lights was really bad, too. I'll review that because I was really pissed. And um, he also asked, have you seen Cars 2? If so, what you think of it? I fucking hated Cars 2. I hated it. I liked the first Cars, but Cars 2 sucked. And three, did, did you love Kane saying, I'm going to Disneyland? That was really funny. Then the last question comes from Rissex 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 1138 says congrats on your 150 subscribers man thank you but now I have 147 All right, but anyway who's your who's your top director um Christopher Nolan or Steven Spielberg do you still watch VHS movies I still watch movies on the VHS who doesn't um what's your favorite place to buy DVDs Blu-rays or any, or any other movie stuff either Best Buy or Walmart the question number he also asks if you had one wish home cinema wise what would you get if it was by a movie I would love them to make a biography movie on Paul Newman and have it be directed by Robert Redford I would come in my pants and love the channel updates here's to your next 150 subs hopefully that happens um now thank you for all the questions guys and that was my video and I'll see you guys later